Troll and Toad sent me epic Yu-Gi-Oh mystery boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I was sent six awesome mystery boxes from Troll and Toad. You guys will be able to buy these if you're interested, so keep watching and see if there's something that you would want. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ghost from the Past 2 display. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about these mystery boxes. Do you like them more or less than like regular mystery boxes you see? Because they're a little bit different than like normal ones. All right, let's go right into it. And if you are interested in these, Rhyme Style has also opened these on his channel and we are doing a mystery box battle because he did one round with them. They sent out six to me and six to him for a second round for him. So we're doing a mystery box battle. So make sure to go check out his video as well when we're opening these up. There's also a link down below if you guys are interested. I think these cost around $130. So they're a little bit expensive, but I'm going to show you guys why they're so expensive. So let's open this thing up. And these are from Troll and Toad. You guys have heard of them many times. Let's see what they have inside. So very cool presentation. Look at this. This is the mystery box. So there's a box and then there's a mystery box. So I should probably should have pulled those out already. So inside this, there's a single card that is like of great value because there's a big range. Of course, there's going to be better and there's going to be worse, but there's one card immediately that we see and then there's some packs. So the, what we're really looking for is the big card. So let's see if you haven't seen Rhyme Style's video, this would be cool. Yeah, let's open them up and a solemn judgment first edition. See, this is what I'm talking about. Big value cards. They even have a little bit of a stand here, which is actually really cool for like displaying stuff. So you can pull this off. First edition solemn judgment. Now, these cards are not like necessarily in mint condition. I don't know what condition they're going to be in in general. Let's see if we can open this thing. How do you open this? There we go. Okay, it's like a magnet. Okay, let's see what condition it's actually in. All right, so now you see why they're kind of expensive because there's really strong cards in here. So Solemn Judgment is a great card, you know, in general for collectability or playability. So it's sleeved up like that. Surface. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Okay, there's a corner ding. So there's that. Surface. I was about to say, did they send us a mint condition one? Okay, and the back is pretty messed up. So this I'd call is like a moderate play. I don't know what the value will be. It'll pop up on the screen. So we're going to see like how many of these we actually make our money back at $130. This is still a nice card to play in like a deck. So I might be throwing this into like one of my goat format decks or something like that because I mean, it looks great on the front. I mean, which is all you need when you're playing it. And then I think the aren't the packs like where are they? Oh, they're in the rest of the box. They're down here. I found them. Don't worry. There are packs. Okay, there's like three or three to five. I think it's not a lot of packs. It's mostly based on that. So these packs, okay, not the best packs. So Battle Pack Monster League, not good. That's one of the worst packs. Number Hunters is okay. And then Secrets of Eternity is probably a little bit less than okay. So not great pack selection. You're really looking for the singles here. Let's open these up real quick before we get to the next one. And uh, yeah, of course. So if you do want to buy them, the link's down below. Of course, you don't have to or anything. They did send me these like as an advertisement and stuff like that. So just FYI, but I am pretty excited to open them. Um, let's see what we can get. The Chronomaly Soul Monolith and the number 54 11. Lionheart Secret Rare. Very nice. I don't even remember this card. Lionheart. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. So we've got five more mystery boxes. The list that of the cards you can pull is pretty insane. Like there's some really, really good stuff. The conditions vary. I think Rhyme Style got mostly like near mint to light play on his stuff. And then like, I think he had a mod play on one of his. So we just got a mod play. So Muffer Lion, we got the uh, Pendulum Shift, the Kagna, Melted Branch of the Burning Abyss, Skilled Blue Magician, Super Rare, all right, and the Spiritual Beast, Rampenga, all right, all right. Battle Pack Monster League. I've opened a lot of these in my day. Back in the day when I first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, this was everywhere. There it is, the Arkansas Razorbacks, very cool. Herald of the Purple Light with a little bit of a nice foil there. We got the Lion's Alligator and the Card Advance. Oh, we missed one, Victory Viper. Okay, so the pack's not too great on that one. I, I did see some better packs, like range, so we might get some good ones. And I'm just basing this off of Rhyme Style's video plus the list that I saw. So I don't know 100% what we're gonna get or anything. There was a very long list of cards. So let's pull this out. So we've got this and then we've got the packs. Let's do the packs first because the packs are like le the less exciting part. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Okay, we have another battle pack three. That's not great. We've got number hunters and that's the same packs. All right, not, not a lot of variants there, but that's all right. We're really hoping for that uh, card to be insane. We're hoping for it to be a great single. I'm actually very happy with Solemn Judgment. That's a good card. Plant food chain. Wait, oh, there's our, our foily guy. The Disc Blade Rider, Swamp Mirror, and the Friller Rabka. Very nice. Let's go to number hunters. What's the best card in number hunters? I don't know. It's got to be a number, right? I mean, there could be another card, but I'm guessing numbers. Number 85, Crazy Box. Nice. Gimmick Puppet Gear Changer, Photon Cerberus, and Photon Alexandra Queen, Secret Rare. Yeah, make sure you guys check out Rhyme Style's video. Hopefully one of us pulls something awesome. I mean, Solemn's pretty good. I'm definitely not mad about that. Got the Performer Pal Friend Donkey, the Goo Goo Talisman, Morphtronic Smart Fawn, Performer Pal Fire Muffler Lion, the Farfa Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. There he is, Farfa. Nice to see you. Level Lifter. 
the Raid Raptor, a Zen Mail Day, and the Yosingu Magat. Is that how you say that? Magat? I don't know. All right. Let's see what our next one's going to be. The reveal. I'm excited. What's it going to be? Oh, 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 a call of the haunted. Look at this. We're getting the trap cards. All right. That was okay. Can you put these back in? Wait, you can, right? Does it just turn the lights? Uh, did we just break it? I think we just broke it. I don't know what we did. Oh, no, there it is. Ah, blinding. <laughs> All right, pretty sick. Let's check out the condition. Let's see if this one's nicer than the Solemn Judgment. Let's get this thing out of here. It's a little bit of a tight sleeve, but you just got to be a little careful with it. There, very nice. First edition Pharaoh Servant. Okay, a little bit of a ding right there, I would say. Corner's a little bent up there. Pretty nice surface, though. Definitely a better back than the last one, but probably like mod play-ish. Maybe LP, you could say that. I mean, personally, it'd be mod play, but I'm a little bit strict usually. So, but still, not terrible. First edition Call of the Haunted. This is a good card. See, like, this is the kind of stuff you're going to get. You're going to get those nice old school cards, which is cool. All right, four more boxes. So far, I'd say we're doing okay. Like, we're not doing insane. We're not doing bad. I'd say we're doing okay. I'm hoping that we can get a couple other packs because, like, he got a few, like, Cyber Dark Impact and, like, he got some that were, like, Generation Force and stuff like that. So, I would love to get some of those packs. So, let's start off with the packs again. Let's see what we can get. We have. Uh, okay, same packs, same packs, all right. So the variance in packs so far is is non-existent. It doesn't exist. It's literally the same packs. All right, we got the Watt Adjustment. We got the Mechlord Army of Grinnell. I've seen that card a lot. Royal Firestorm Guards is cool. Nordic Relic and the Shut Noji. Shut Doji, very cool. Number Hunters. Let's go. The Stoic Challenge. I always love an opening good, opening a good mystery box, though. Curry Vault, the Chronomaly Soul Monolith. You guys know I open them all the time. The Chakra, okay. And then the Box of Friends, look at this. All the friends in a box, you love to see it. Pretty cool. Okay, Secrets of Eternity. Can we get a Ghost or an Ulti? They are in this set, possibly. So let's see if we can get one. Perform the Power Friend Donkey. This is where we per pulled our first ever Ghost Rare. I cannot speak today. Morphtronic Smartphone. Probably because I streamed for like four hours and then I recorded with, with Chaotic Meatball. So a lot of talking today. By the way, check out the Twitch stream if you haven't yet. We have been going ham. We did a lot of Go Format the other day. So if you like Go Format, Check it out. Raid Raptor Nest and Gigabyte. That was actually a lot of fun playing Go Format. All right, third card. We are halfway through after this. What can we pull? Can we pull the Blue Eyes Wide Dragon? Here we go from LOB. I think there's one in but here potentially. Not in this, but like in their whole set of stuff. Oh, oh a ghost. It's the Odin. The one we've never been able to pull. We've technically pulled it. It might have been out of a mystery box, but we have now pulled this card. Let's go. This is actually sick. Odin, father of the Acer. I don't think it's the most expensive card or whatever, but for me personally, this is awesome. Let's see what condition this Ghost Rare is in. I'd be pretty surprised if this is in great shape because, you know, Ghost Rares, that's just tough. It's tough for him. This guy's 4K attack. He's such a menace when he gets on the field. Okay, the scratching. Ooh, it is scratching for but, but wow, look at that. You can't even tell with ghosts. That's what I love about them. You go with the right angle, you don't even know they're scratched, but then you go there. Yep, it's definitely seen it. That this is what his uh his blue eyes looked like when he got it from he got a gold gold ghost rare from Ghost from the Past. Or no, Gold Series Haunted Mine. Different. Okay, back is very clean. So this is one of those ghosts that it's super clean, but the foil just has the scratches. But overall, a pretty sick card. I don't know what that's gonna be valued at. Probably not too much, to be honest because this is just not a very expensive card, but it's a very cool card. I like it. All right, fourth mystery box. Let's see, I don't think, I would say so far, the closest we've gotten to making our money back was the Solemn Judgment. I think it's 130 bucks. I think that's what he said. But of course, when you open the packs, it's like they have no value anymore unless you pull something good. That's just how it works with packs. Let's see, oh yes. Oh, look at these. We got four packs this time and they're all good. We've got Crimson Crisis, that's awesome. Generation Force First Edition, that's cool. Unlimited Lord of Tachyon Galaxy and Unlimited Their Storm of Ragnarok. We could pull the Odin. Can you imagine? This is what you're looking for. You're looking for this kind of stuff when you open the box. So it could either be those kind of bad ones or you could get these, you know, which is a lot better. So makes a little bit of a mystery box. And, uh, you know, it is a mystery box. All right, Garmar. We got the Mizuho. Karkur Cash Cash. We got the Six Strike Triple Impact. Nordic Relic Drop Near. Nordic Relic Brings of Gamon. We've got the Resonator Engine. Stardust Phantom. And Nordic Relic lavatane all right lavatane all right nothing too great there but that's okay i mean this with this it's like just the value of the packs in general so the pack value here is pretty solid maybe 40 50 bucks worth i mean that's definitely good i mean that's a lot better than before those other ones were probably worth like 15 at max no probably 10 honestly memory loss high tide on fire island mech van beast we didn't do a pack trick go go gigas and the eagle shark so no pull there I always thought this looks like a Pokemon guy. I don't know why. He just reminds me of Pokemon. Generation Force, first edition. We could pull the Leviathan Dragon, number 17, Ghost Rare. That would be insane if we pulled out of the mystery box. Let's go, Gravel Storm. We can knock that out and Odin at the same time. Fly Fang, Damage Vaccine Max. We got the Aqua Jet. 
Spear for Soldier. Vision Kicks. Explosive Urchin. Sea Lancer. And... Oh, a Sam Bell the Summoner. Okay, just a regular rare. Or regular common, I should say. Final pack, Crimson Crisis. Even if we get nothing, this is still a cool variety of packs. I like it. We got the Mysterious Triangle. The Trojan Gladiator Beast. Hydra Viper. Uh, Soul Slash. Summon Reactor SK. Verdant Sanctuary. Searchable by Terraforming. Just kidding. Prevention Star. Debris Dragon. That's a good card for Edison, though. Very good. Vengeful Servant. We pulled this as a secret rare recently, so pretty cool to see this card. Very nice. All right, on to our fourth box. What will be inside? So far, pretty good stuff. Let's see if we can top it with something amazing. We have... Oh, this is sick. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. I have no idea what this value is, but I think I need this for my binder. My uh, binder with all, you know, the Ghost Rares, Ultimate Rares, and Secret Rare versions of everything. I don't think I own this card, so this is actually really cool. It's not, it's like the lowest rarity of the card, and I just don't have it, so that actually makes it sick. Oh, wow, check this card out. Surface looks amazing in the front. Oh, just a couple of scuffs. Wow lightly played at least i mean like at the least i should say you could argue maybe it could be like borderline near mint but personally i would call it like vlp maybe lp but this is definitely going in my binder as a placeholder until i get like a minty one because i don't have it so that's actually sick first edition elemental hero chaos neos i don't know the value on this at all i haven't seen the value of this in like three or four years so it could be great i really don't know two more mystery boxes that one was a lot better i feel like in terms of the packs and then i like the promo i don't know if that card is actually as good as some of the other cards we've pulled but i definitely like it let's see what packs we get hopefully these are the nice ones come on be the nice ones not the bad ones no it's not the nice ones so maybe the nice ones are like one every three or four or something like that because so far we pulled four out of five so maybe it's one every five or something i don't know photon cerberus i know he also got cyber dark impact which we haven't gotten that yet dash the dust lord mega equipped uh Auganeer, and comic heroes king arthur and by him i mean rhyme style and that was in his first video oh no we got two monster league oh no all right monster league are pretty bad we definitely don't want those seven completed very cool Miracle's Wake, there's our little shiny guy. And Zectopede, and Premature Burial with a Mechlord Army of Grinnell. There it is. One more pack. What is this card on the front? Some sort of insect card. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. Mask of Weakness, okay. Love to see that. Freya, Spirit of Victory, all right, shiny. Break of the Magical Warrior, always a good card. Scapegoat, always a good card. And Gorgonic Golem. Honestly, a couple car good cards in there. On to our second allow. This one's just falling open. The other ones were like very tight. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe that means there's something amazing. Here we go. Whoa, okay, this is a good pull. Elemental Hero, Air Neos, Ultra Rare. Not the ulti, ulti is insane, but even the Ultra is like $200 or something. So this might have officially made our money back on that one. All right, this is a sick one. So Elemental Hero, Air Neos, first edition from Storm, not Storm, Strike of Neos, different card. Okay, Air Neos, Ultra Rare. Surface pretty good. A little bit of scuffing right there, but not much. Back has a little indentation right there. Yeah, so maybe like mod L probably I probably wouldn't say LP with this, but like pretty clean for a mod play though, if you do call it a mod play. But first edition, Elemental Hero Air Neos literally has never been reprinted. Only has the ulti and the ultra version in the same set. That's it. So this is super, super cool to actually pull. Very excited about that, actually. Very, very cool card. We've had a nice variety. So far, we have two DM cards, five, one 5Ds card, and two GX cards. So a nice variety going on there. Does that mean we're going to get 5Ds for the last one to even it out? We'll see. And the final mystery box. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. And of course, there will be a link. If you do want to buy some of these, there's other cards like this as or other boxes with cards like this inside them. So if you're interested, check it out. Of course, check out Rhyme Style's video as well. If you want to see like more variety, like you think six and you're still thinking about it you're like do i really want these go check out rhyme style see if you like his pulls and then uh he has the same link as well so i think we might have gotten the good packs yes we got the good packs oh look we got an abyss rising cool cosmo blazer okay it's different tournament pack five let's go in the storm of ragnarok see there's some good options okay so about two out of our six had good packs in them so keep that in mind. I don't know what Rhyme Style's ratio is going to be, but you can uh, watch his one with 10 opening or 10 box openings and then this, and you can kind of figure it out. We got a Grand Rim, Heroic Challenger, Night Watchman, Deep Sweeper, Mermail of Islam, Advanced Heraldry Art, Stoic Prophecy, uh, House Dustin. Oh, there it is. Game of Thrones, Mogmol, and Mecha C. Poseidon. Very cool. All right, Cosmo Blazer. The Ghost Rare in here also does not have a reprint. It has a Ghost, an Ulti, and an Ultra from the same set. So if we pulled that, it's very expensive. Even the Ultra Rare. So we would love to see the, whatever this card's called. I can't remember. I have it in my, uh, I think it's, I forgot. It's in my, it's in my Blue Eyes deck. Brother of the Fire Fist. We got Brotherhood, 0-0 Rock. We got the Tencent. 
ZW Ultimate Shield, Star Drawing, Brotherhood of the Firefist Gorilla, and an XYZ XC's Tribe Arrivals. Okay, let's go. Storm of Ragnarok, Ghost Rare Odin. Still has never been pulled. Can we pull it? Well, it's never been pulled by me. It's been pulled before, of course, but not by me. We have Top Runner, Kari Curry Cash Cash, Worm Jet Eclipse, Token Stampede, Scrap Chart, Divine Wind of Mist Valley, Barrier Resonator, Stardust Phantom, and Hourglass of Courage, a classic. Okay, nothing there. Onto the Tournament Pack 5. We get a foil in here, this would be insane because this is not any. I mean, there's only three cards. It's one out of 18 is a super rare. So let's see. Let's go like this. I don't know. Is it the first card? It probably is the first card. Let's just do this just to be safe. Dot Designator. Jaugen the Spiritual is pretty cool card. And Trap Aboard Eraser. So, okay. Unfortunately, we did not get a foil, but that would have been cool. Then the final box. Make sure to check out Rhyme Style's video. And of course, if you're interested, check out the link. Let's go. Let's see what we can get in the final box. So far, we have two DM cards, one 5Ds card, two GX cards. Here we go. We have a Catapult Turtle First Edition Metal Raiders. As if we don't have enough Metal Raiders around here. I love Metal Raiders, though. Fortunately, Catapult Turtle, probably not my favorite, but I do think the artwork's really cool. Let's see what the condition is. All right, let's check it out in the sleeve. Metal Raiders, first edition. Surface looks pretty good. Maybe a little whitening down there. Not too bad. Uh, let's see. What is going on right there? Like a little dot? I don't know what that is. Back is definitely a little scuffed up. So yeah, we got a little scuffed up on the back. Front looks pretty good. Yeah, this personally, I always judge as mod play, but it's not that bad. The front looks pretty good. So Catapult Turtle, I'd say overall the conditions of the cards are between mod and light play. I didn't I don't think we got a near mint card out of these. So keep that in mind when you're buying it. If you're looking for minty cards, maybe not the best thing. If you're looking for some old cool cards, this is your thing because you're going to get one every single time, which is nice. So thanks to Troll and Toad for sending me those. That was a lot of fun to open those up. And of course, if you guys are interested, check it out. Make sure to go check out Rhyme Style's video for a little bit of more perspective on what you can expect to get and all that kind of stuff like that. And of course, great entertainment from Rhyme Style himself. If you enjoyed videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Flow Show. Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto, Deonda, Stanley, Mimigecko, Inamusa Jr. Barding, John Noland, and Anna Taisho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.